Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the card that I told you I was going to show you and then never showed you and it's just been sitting on my desk and I'm sure that was quite a sentence to take in. But I'm going to be using the Parisian Beauty Set and the heirloom uh, frames and dies. Well, I'll be using one of them, the oval one. And let's see. I'll be using, I think it's Cherry Cobbler that coordinates with this paper, so that's what the card stock is, and then this, so the, this is a standard A2 size card, and then this is cut it, what is this cut it? <clears throat> it's been so long since I made this card. Oh, I guess it would help if I put it all the way over here in the corner. Don't mind me. Four by five and a quarter. All right, so first let's tape this on. And now remember, I like a lot of tape. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If the world comes to an end, I want my cards to still be intact. Another one for good measure. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> there is something in my throat and it's driving me nuts. I guess that's straight enough. <clears throat> Good grief. Sorry. You have to hear all that. Alright, so then I have all these bits and bobs. <laughs> so, here is the heirloom frame. So we will stick that on first. Woo. Don't expect videos every two days. I just already had this one made. <laughs> and it's one where I don't have to edit the video. I like those, you know. No editing. Though editing that last one wasn't too bad. The video itself was only 36 minutes and then I got it down to like, like 14 something. So that one wasn't too bad. It's when I do a lot of Copic coloring. That's where the editing is like, ooh, be here for a few hours. <laughs> Oh, now look what I done did. I don't know if you can see that. I have bent my thing. My, how did I even do that? See, when I don't edit, you get the crazy side of me. I try to hide that. Oh, now I'm just denting at my, how in the world? <laughs> All I can do is laugh at myself. I'm going to see if I can just push it in the bottle and then. Good googly moogly. All right, we're just gonna, I'm just bending even more. We'll stick that over there and deal with that later. Mm. Okay, and I think there is an upper and lower part. I think that is, whoops, can we see here? I think that is the lower area. I can't even see where I'm pointing. So that's what I'm going with anyways. And then try and center it. <laughs> All right. Next. So the dies. Oh, I guess I should have shown you the Parisian dies. Well, yeah, anyways. Um, so I'm using this twig. And we'll just glue him on. I'm still over here laughing at how I killed my glue stopper. <laughs> All you can do is laugh at yourself, right? Okay, and then we're just going to place that on. And this glue dries clear, so if it's on there, it doesn't really matter. All right. I guess next I'll go ahead and color this flower. I don't have the Stampin' Blends because I already had Copics before those came out <clears throat> and I wasn't buying a whole other type. So I use Copics. And obviously my Copic circuit not going to match the patterned paper perfectly. But I am using um, R20 and R85 and it's very simple and basic coloring. We are doing nothing special here today. I just didn't want a white flower. 
Like, I'm not even going to zoom in because there's nothing to see here. It's <laughs> thundering outside. It's hot and muggy. I'm in Virginia, so we get very mild winters and then hot, hot summers. It's not even like a good hot, like it's like muggy and humid and miserable. I guess it could be worse. I don't even know if this was the color I used. Now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like a red color. Like I said, it's been a very long time. Whatever. It's going to be the color I use today. <laughs> okay, flower is done. So we've done that. Now, if you're still with me after all this chaos. Now I have my... Oh, sh Okay. Okay, that is... Gluing the black thing is not step two. <laughs> it's not step two at all. The oval is step two. And I used the um, champagne foil paper. I don't know if that's staying or going. Oh. Okay. Now, let me put this back on. Like I said in my last video, you can usually fix your mistakes. It's just better if you don't have them in the first place. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Okay. So now I have all these flowers. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't have all my flowers. Gosh darn it. Okay, well. Hmm. I'll just have to add that at a different time. I don't have the... Like, I already started the video. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought I had all my pieces. Alright, so we have swirlies, and I have them in... Cherry Cobbler, and I think that's Petal Pink. I think that's the coordinating color with this sweet. Aren't they retiring that color? I don't know. It's such a long retire list. That after a while, you just stop reading. <laughs> you just order what you want. Okay. Still on frame, yeah. Well, I have a trick for getting all those glue dots off of your uh, foil, so I'll show you at the end, because I'm sure I'll get more on it in a minute. And then this one goes up. I'm getting glue everywhere. Okay, and then also I took the Mercy, Mercy. I never. Somebody told me in one of my last videos how to say it, and I've already forgot. <laughs> I'm not good with this word. Anyways, I have this in the champagne paper too. And make sure when you cut this out, you don't lose your dot for the eye. Okay. Is that straight? I think. Okay, and then we have the 
teeny tiny dot. So just stick a dot on the actual paper. Now to get it on there. Okay. That went smoothly. <laughs> okay, and so I have my Eiffel Tower. I stamped it in a uh, Versamark ink. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I used the copper embossing powder. It looks coppery to me. Didn't we have a rose gold at some point? If we did, I don't even know if I have it. I looked for it and I couldn't find it. So I'm assuming that I used the copper. <laughs> okay, where is my tape? Okay. I'm sorry, apparently I'm all out of sorts today. Let's see, normally. Here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. I have a treadmill behind me. Because we don't have, like, like the, my packing area and my craft room and my gym are all in the same room so there's a treadmill behind me <laughs> and it was lying on the treadmill when the treadmill is not in use it's like my storage area and then when we use it i move it off i don't have like a tile in there that would be annoying i have just a little pile i want to get uh a new craft well not a new craft space but some um better design here. I would have so much more room to store stuff if I had like the proper storage stuff. So I was looking at Michael's last night trying to find some storage. I want to go look because I don't really have everything on their website but I'm like I don't really want to go out right now. So we'll see. Okay. Okay, I'm at, oh, I'm not doing too bad for time. Still wish I had another flower. Can't believe I don't. Thought I had everything already cut out. And yes, I'm putting glue on top of glue. <laughs> that just tells you how insane I am. Okay. Now let's make sure it's straight. No, I think it's pretty straight. Maybe, whatever, it's already on. Okay, next. Am I sure I don't have another one? I have a black one. That won't do. Well, I'll show you what I can, and I'll just add another one of these flowers later. Okay. So, this flower goes somewhere about there. Then that flower would go there, and then that flower would go there. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine where my flower would be. This is a fun suite. I know they're getting rid of the paper, the pattern paper. And then I wanted to use a champagne foil on the center. Now lining this up. Hmm. I think it goes like this. And... And I have a champagne flower. And I'm trying to like overlap and stuff like that. That way it's not them just sitting next to each other. And then of course naturally here we will put a Petal pink one inside. 
think it's gonna go like this. Okay, and in my original card, I put petal pink in the center here, but I didn't have those cut out, and I had these black ones cut out, so that's what I'm gonna use. I was trying to avoid cutting things out, but apparently I still missed one. But maybe the black will look better anyways. That was a lot of glue. Even for me. But like I said, I have a trick for that. Okay. So we're just going to put like a little placeholder here, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> that way I can determine where my flowers are going. Okay. Well, that's not on the vine. Good enough. The most finicky part of this project is putting the flowers on. But everything else is pretty easy. Okay, and last flower. Well, kind of. I guess that's kind of too far down. Oh well. And obviously, I don't have one for there, but we're just going to pretend that it's there. And I will put that on later. Okay, so we'll save this little black piece for later. So then I take my champagne rhinestones and let's see. I know I take a big one and I put it there. And I just kind of place them Randomly. No rhyme or reason. I still gotta fix that glue. Oops. Okay. Oh, oh I need one more. Okay, and if you're still with me at this point, I take a wink of Stella. Hopefully this one doesn't have much. And this just takes off the glue. I think it's the alcohol in it or whatever. Now obviously you will be getting some sparkle. But it takes it off. I heard this from someone. I didn't come up with this idea. I would have never looked at my Wink Estella and been like, you are the answer for my problems. <laughs> oh yeah, let's add some on this flower, why don't we? Okay, I'm not going to make you guys watch me that on. I will handle this off camera.
but it's coming off and I'll get the rest off later. But so this is what the card is supposed to look like with, you know, my other flower. And ignore my glue spots. But see, there's no glue on this one. No glue. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is my card. Sorry, it was kind of a failure because I didn't have the flower. But the rest of it turned out nicely. And I will see you guys next time.